Well, the spirit of cricket is about going out there, giving your all 100%, fighting against the opposition, but doing it with a smile on your face and doing it with enormous respect for the beautiful game of cricket. Bold him. Middle stump. The way you conduct yourself on and off the field, it's about respecting the opposition, respecting the game. You embracing the game, yes, but also how you play the game, how, what example you are for young kids growing up. Big shot, and he's gone as well. I think the spirit of cricket is about respecting the traditions of, of what's been before us and those who have been before us as well. And, and as cricketers, we've got, we've got a duty to make sure we uphold those. You know, you let your skills go to work when you play, but you you treat each other and, and the game itself, um, which has been around a lot longer than us, um, with respect and, and you hope that you leave it in a better place than what you started with. Now, playing it hard, playing it fair, and if you're representing your country and we're very, very privileged, you should cherish that. It's obviously competitive, no professional international sport isn't, and um, you would never want to lose that competitiveness from any of the players because that's what makes the game as good as it is. But it's obviously a line in terms of doing it the right way and doing it the wrong way. And I think it's one of the important things when trying to, I guess, inspire people to play the sport. Yeah, just conducting yourself in a way that probably your parents and your grandparents would want you to. I think that's probably the easiest way to uh, describe it. Um, obviously, after what happened in, in South Africa, you know, I know those guys really well and I know that they're not proud of that and, and they made a mistake. And unfortunately, that's something they're going to have to live with because at the end of the day, he made a mistake, but he's still a very good person. Everybody will make a mistake at some point in their career, but it's about repairing those mistakes in future games and learning from your mistakes. Yeah, there's no doubt about still being competitive and still wanting to win, but yeah, certainly you can win and lose in the right manner. But I think out of that, you know, we've, we've thought a lot about just respecting the game and everything around the game and just putting the focus back on just, just playing the game. Obviously it was a really closely fought semi-final, um, kind of went down to the wire and you obviously kind of have a moment of celebration. But then your, your thought quite quickly turns to the opposition. It wasn't, it's obviously not something you think out or anything like that, it just kind of seemed like the, the right thing to do at that time. Uh, we lost a test match against England, um, which was a cracking test match, oh, I thought. Oh, 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 Ali, Ali. Oh. Played between two very, very good cricket teams, playing aggressively but playing in the right spirit. And after that test match, we sat in the English dressing room, as the losers do, they go through to the winners dressing room and shared a beer with them. And, and um, for me, it was just encapsulated everything which, which was good about the game. I remember the Ashes Test match in 2005. For me, the most iconic one is the 2005 Ashes, uh, when uh, Freddie Flintoff obviously consoled Brett Lee. Jones! Barman! Then he was sitting down and uh, when Flintoff went to him and shake his hand, I think that's the spirit of cricket for me. Yeah, that for me is the iconic moment. Kind of the result obviously went England's way, but he took the time to console a bloke that had put in a hell of a performance. It'll be something like, I want to tell you, I've got great admiration for you and the way you guys played this match. To show, you know, your respect for the opposition, end of the day, it's just a game of cricket, but uh, I think that's, that's the spirit of uh, cricket for me. But you actually, together, you sit down together, and that's the spirit of cricket. Friendship.